Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Destination Data, where my travel highlights data and insights available from Precisely. You likely already know Precisely for our powerful data integrity and automation capabilities. And I use this series to highlight how partnering those applications with our amazing data sets can drive positive business outcomes for your companies. The focus today is on sports in the city where I was born, sweet home Chicago. We're looking at the Chicago River behind me. And the Windy City is known for its broad shoulders and even broader sports following. It's home to nine major league teams across multiple big sports franchises. Chicago's influence extends far beyond the game itself. As game days approach, the real winners are the hotels that are within a stone's throw of the stadiums. Year over year, these prime spots have already seen a nice 3% increase in visitation. But on game day, hotels near the stadiums transform into mini, mini entertainment hubs, offering spaces where fans can watch the action or enjoy a pregame meal or drink. The sweet spot for these mini entertainment hubs is 5 to 10 miles from the game. Those spots see a surge in patronage as fans flock to watch the game in lively atmosphere, significantly boosting business on game day. Interestingly, while casual eateries within five miles of those stadiums have seen yearly foot traffic up nearly three to 5%, on game day, their activity drops by 8%. Fans, I guess, are more focused on getting to their seats than uh, hitting the drive through This dynamic was on full display recently when the Wintrust Arena was electrified are the WNBA's front runners for Rookie of the Year, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, battling it out where the Chicago Sky bested the Indiana Sparks. 95% of the fans that attended that game spent time within hotels, bars, restaurants, and large lounges before the game. Such a competitive matchup propelled out-of-state visitors into Chicago, particularly from Indiana. Did you know the Chicago Bears were originally known as the Decatur Staleys? And they're one of the oldest franchises in the NFL. At 104 years old, the Bears' storied legacy is a testament to Chicago's deep-rooted sports culture, unifying Chicagoans and out-of-state fans alike. Uh, people from Indiana also travel in for those Bears games. A staggering 37% of the average attendees come from Indiana. Hotels near that game day action should be able to capitalize that on that by offering tailored packages, things like pregame pre -game buffets, exclusive viewing parties, uh, targeting those Indiana tourists. By making the hotel stay an integral part of the game day experience, local businesses can ride the wave of sports excitement, enhancing the fans' experience and boosting profits. The impact of Chicago's support scene reverberates, reverberates far beyond echoing the city's vibrant offering. What could you do with this kind of data in your business? Understanding travel patterns, peak visitation periods can materially improve advertising spend, facility design, service offering, and things like food menus, all leading to better business outcomes for you and your customers. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Destination Data. Talk to you all again soon.